So before we start this video, I'm giving away a $500 Amazon gift card. There's five steps you need in order to be eligible. Number one, you need to like the video. Number two, you need to leave a comment down below. Number three, you need to be subscribed. Number four, you need to turn on bell notifications. And number five, I will be leaving five keywords throughout the video. So for instance, I might say keyword one, Jordan. If I say that, the keyword number one is Jordan, write down all five keywords. So email the five keywords in order to contact by 925 at gmail.com. That's literally all you have to do to be eligible for this $500 gift card. So in the next video, I'm gonna throw all the names in a hat. I'm gonna pull a name out and that will be the winner of the drawing. And then I will literally send the gift card directly to the email of the winner. So good luck to everybody, enjoy the video. Also, be sure not to type the keyword phrase into the comments or else you're just adding more competition for yourself on who can win the $500 Amazon gift card. Making money on YouTube has completely changed my life. I went from being a completely depressed zombie working in a cubicle to being able to literally live the life of my dreams. Not only that, but I've been blessed to be able to help thousands of people be able to do the same exact thing. So in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how they do it and I'm gonna show you in just six simple steps. Step number one is choosing your niche. And it's something that a lot of people struggle with, but it's really simple to do. Keyword number one, Jordan. Keep in mind that you don't need to find the absolute perfect niche that has absolutely no competition. All you need to do is find a niche that you're interested in, that you wanna learn more about, and that you're passionate about. Because the truth is, you can be successful in literally any niche. The reason why is because there's almost unlimited sub niches inside of any niche. So even if you're in a competitive niche, once you find that sub niche inside of that competitive niche, you're going to start winning in that sub niche. And over time, you'll grow an audience and then be able to win in the full niche. If you're stuck on a niche and you can't come up with one at all, some of the most profitable are business, cars, celebrity, sports news, animals, food, gaming, history, psychology, life hacks, health, tech. Later in this video, I'm gonna give you a bunch of other niches and a lot of example channels in those niches so you have something to reference. Choosing your niche can be broken down to a five item checklist. The first item on your checklist is doing market research. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is go to YouTube, search for your keyword, and make sure that there's actually videos that have a lot of views on YouTube. So if videos in your niche have at least 100,000 views, you know you're gonna be good. So the second item on the checklist is naming your channel. And Literally, do not worry too much about the name. The name is really not very important. So it's a bonus if you can come up with a cool name that kind of says what the channel is about, but it's not necessary. So do not spend more than one day thinking about your channel name. Step four is an easy one, and that's to start your channel. So all you need to do is create a Gmail account. You probably already have one. And the cool thing is you can create unlimited YouTube channels on that one Gmail account. And item number five is to create your logo and your channel art. So once again, these are not super important. You can make a ton of money on your YouTube channel without ever even having one of these, but it just helps your channel and your brand look more legit. So try to put one if you can. Again, do not spend more than one day either making one of these or just hire it for $5 from Fiverr. Step number two is identifying topics. So once you've got a niche picked out, you need to find topics that are going to work well inside your niche. And it's something really simple to do. And after I show you, you'll probably be able to find unlimited topics to do. So when starting a new niche, I always recommend posting anywhere from 30 to 40 videos. Because a lot of people quit on their niche way too early, but some people go way too long without making changes and adjustments that are ultimately going to help their channel. Also, do not forget about that Amazon gift card. So 30 to 40 videos is kind of that sweet spot that's gonna show you the data you need to know. So what I recommend when studying topics inside your niche is to compile a list. So the first 15 to 20 items on your list are going to be keyword searches. And how you do that is first of all, you can go to vidIQ. I have a link down below for that. And so what you can do is go into the keyword search on vidIQ. You can type in your niche and keywords related to your niche. And then you can look at the overall score. So that's gonna weight the competition versus 
as the search volume and show you if that's going to be a good niche to do or not. So if you don't want to pay for vidIQ, there's a lot of free sites you can use to study keywords such as Uber Suggest, as well as a free version of TubeBuddy. So for your next 15 to 20 topic ideas, what you're going to want to do is type your niche into YouTube and then filter by the most views what's in the last month. By doing that, you're going to see which topics inside your niche are currently the most popular and currently going viral. So now you should have 30 to 40 video topics slash ideas picked out, 15 to 20 of which are going to be from your keyword research, and then the other 15 to 20 are going to be based on viral niches. And so now you're probably saying, Jordan, that's awesome, but how exactly am I gonna put together these videos of 30 to 40 ideas that I came up with? The cool part is you don't even need to show your face. I have three different channels where I do not show my face in three different niches. And I've been able to generate over three million subscribers with these channels. And the secret is niche channels. So you're probably saying, cool, Jordan, but what exactly are niche channels? Keyword two, loves. And the truth is you have seen niche channels probably every single day. So all it is are channels where people take content that they did not make and they add voiceover or some sort of transformative element into the video. Now the coolest part about doing this is it makes creating the video so much faster. You're able to pick and choose viral niches and topics. And the best part is you don't have to be entertaining because the video you chose is the entertainment. You are just adding voiceover or some sort of transformative element into the video just for the sake of making it your own for YouTube guidelines sake. But it makes making money on YouTube so much faster. <laughs> Does it make sense now? So there's tons of different ways that you can make these videos your own. One of the things you can do is add voice over to the videos. So if you're going to do this yourself, you can use your phone and just record your voice with that, or you can use a cheap microphone as well. Another option is you can outsource it, which basically just means you hire someone else to do it. And you can find them for as cheap as $5 on both Fiverr and on Upwork. And the same thing goes for writing scripts. You can write the scripts out yourself. I recommend writing it either just in a notepad or you can use Google Docs or anything like that. Make sense so far? And once again, you can hire out script writers on Fiverr and Upwork as well. So if you're thinking to yourself, Jordan, how the heck am I going to come up with the words that I put in the script? Here's a video that I made on that topic. I'll also leave the link in the description to that video. It'll show you step by step how you can come up with easy scripts for any topic. And there's also another video down there that'll show you step by step how you can put voiceover over these videos completely for free in the easiest way possible. It's also possible to post videos you didn't make where you don't show your face or use your voice at all, but that is a lesson for another time. So if you want completely royalty-free videos that you can put your voice over, two sites I recommend are Pexels.com and Pixabay.com. And the one I personally use, but it costs money, is Storyblocks. You can also use videos that are directly from YouTube, but if you do that, make sure you're following fair use. And basically what that means is you can use about 15 to 20 seconds of another video and be fine as long as it's inside of a transformative work that you're doing. And so then if you want to edit your videos, there's a ton of free places you can go to do that. You can use OpenShot, you can use HitFilm Express, there's all sorts of other free video editors as well. And if you want to add music to your videos that's royalty free, you can find all sorts of music in the YouTube audio library that's free to use in your videos. Step four is uploading and optimizing your videos. Because obviously if you're uploading videos, you want to make sure that people are finding them. And the best way to do that is to do your research. You want to make sure that you're doing your research, keywords, titles, thumbnails, you want to make sure you understand what about other channels are successful. So the best thing you can do is study other channels in your niche, subscribe to all of them, study their titles, their tags, their keywords, their thumbnails, all of those things. If you want to know what keywords other channels are using, you can use Social Blade. It's completely free and it'll show you exactly what their keywords are. And if you're asking, Jordan, how many videos a week should I post? The answer is the more the merrier. You want to make sure you're at least posting one video per week, but if you can can do two or three or even do two a day, the more you can do the better. Because at the end of the day, we're looking for a video to go viral. And the more videos you post, the more chance you have of that happening. With that said, there's tons of people who are successful doing one video a month even. You just have a better chance the more you post. Keyword three, his. 
Step number five is getting traffic. And of course, there's tons of places you can go to do that. Instagram, Pinterest, blogs, Google SEO, emails, forums, and my favorite place is organically through YouTube. So when first starting out, I recommend to just start by focusing on YouTube and getting really good at YouTube. You may see a couple views might trickle in from Facebook, Pinterest, things like that, but overall you're losing time by trying to do all those things at once and you're much better off just focusing on the one that has the most volume, which is going to be YouTube itself. So once you get to the point where you're ranking for every single keyword you wanna rank for all the time consistently, then you can reach out and try to grab those other traffic sources. And one of the best ways to do this is to post on similar niches. So don't jump all around posting all different sorts of niches. You wanna to stick to one niche and just a few popular topics inside of that niche because what's gonna happen is people that are interested in that niche and that topic are going to subscribe. So then next time you post a video, you're helping your view virality, which is how many views your video gets when it first gets posted into the next 24 hours hours. The more views, the more likes, the more engagement, the more watch time that your video gets, the better that video is going to perform. Keyword for YouTube. And not only that, if your videos are the same topics, then your videos are going to be using a lot of the same tags and a lot of the same keywords. And what that does is make your video suggest itself on other ones of your videos. And what that means is that people are going to start watching your videos in loops, which is a really big deal because YouTube doesn't just look at watch time and click-through rate, they also look at session time, which is how many videos and how long they stay watching your content. So the longer you stay watching other people's videos, the more money YouTube makes, the more money you make, the more money everyone makes. Now you're probably thinking, all right, Jordan, but how do I actually make money on YouTube doing this? Well, that's a great question and the answer is really simple. It's the YouTube Partner Program. And basically you join it just by applying after you get 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch hours. And you're probably saying, Jordan, oh my gosh, that's 240,000 minutes. How in the heck am I going to get that? That's going to take forever. And the truth is, it actually doesn't take that long if you're consistent and you know what you're doing. In fact, most of the students that I have end up getting monetized somewhere within two weeks to two months. And it all comes down to a very simple step-by-step -step formula. So after you're in the YouTube Partner Program, they'll show ads to your viewers and every time an ad is shown, you make money. So from there, what they'll do is you can decide if you want your payments sent direct deposit into your bank account or if you'd rather they send you a check. And so another way you can make money on YouTube is through affiliate marketing. And so what's cool about that is is that you don't have to wait to get monetized in order to make money with affiliate marketing. So you can make money with your channel from day one. And four of the places I recommend are JVZoo, Digistore24, ClickBank, and Amazon Associates program. And the one thing you wanna keep in mind when doing affiliate marketing is you wanna make sure that the products you are marketing are in the niche that your audience is. So that is the number one way to be successful with affiliate marketing is showing products to people that actually care about that product. And the third way you can make money on YouTube is through selling digital courses. And this could be a very lucrative thing, so it takes a long time to set it up properly. But once you get it set up, it pretty much just keeps getting sales almost on autopilot. And what you need to know is you don't need to be an expert to sell a course. All you need to do is know a little bit more than someone else and have done a little bit more research than other people. And three of the best places you can build courses are Kajabi, Teachable, and Udemy. And now I'm going to give you six massive bonus secrets that you can use to help you be successful on YouTube. So secret number one is making good thumbnails. One of the things YouTube really looks at to decide if they wanna push your video out to more people is click-through rate. Basically that just means how often people click the video after they are shown the video. And so you wanna aim for somewhere around a 6% click-through rate. So how do you make thumbnails? The easiest and best place to go for free is Canva. Com. That's where I go to make all of my thumbnails. And when you're making these thumbnails, keep in mind some of the best ones are ones that show emotion, show human faces, and also show red arrows, red circles, and things like that that draw attention. Secret number two is to analyze your data. So it's really important to go into the analytics, dive in deep, and really study what's going on with your channel, what's going on with your viewers. So, so for instance, if your impressions are low, that means people aren't seeing your video. That means you 
need to do a better job of doing keywords and topics that are more popular. If your click-through rate's low, that means your title and your thumbnail need work. If your retention rate or average view duration are low, that means you need to add more cuts, more entertaining things, and your video's dragging on and it's boring viewers and they're leaving early. All of those things play a massive factor in whether YouTube pushes your video out to more people. Which goes into secret number three, which is watch time and retention. So you wanna aim for an audience retention of around 60% of your video. So basically for a 10 minute video, that would mean people stick around and watch for around six minutes. Secret number four is post consistently. YouTube is much more likely to suggest channels that are going to consistently post at least once or twice a week. And the reason why is because it doesn't make sense for YouTube to push a bunch of traffic to a channel that is not going to consistently upload. So try to be as consistent as you can with your uploading. Secret number five is scaling and paying other people to make your videos. So in order to do this, the best way to do it is to have a whole automation assembly line. And basically what that means is you hire experts in all the different parts, they put together the full video, you barely do any of the work and you get all the profit. So basically how it works is you come up with a video idea, then you give that idea to a script writer, they're gonna write a script somewhere between 1,500 to a 2,000 word document for a 10 minute video. Then the script writer is going to send that to a voiceover artist. The voiceover artist is going to voice over the script. Then they're going to send that video to a video editor who's going to put it all together. Then the thumbnail designer is going to create a thumbnail based on that video. And then after that, you will upload the video, you will do the research on the SEO and everything you need to do to make that video go viral. And again, where do you find the best artists? That would be fiverr.com or upwork.com. Keyword number six, subscribers. So now if you want a complete step-by-step -step on how exactly you make money on YouTube without showing your face or making any videos and how all of my students are successful doing the same thing, I show you exactly what you need to do step-by-step -step in this video. So click the video now and watch it. You're not gonna wanna miss this one, it's a good one.